When it comes to bringing new jobs and economic development projects into the Piedmont Triad region, you can't leave out Alamance County and the work of tonight's newsmaker. Reagan Girl is into her second year as the president and CEO of the Alamance Chamber of Commerce. She served as vice president for nearly 10 years before that, but unlike a lot of chamber presidents, she's also Alamance County's economic developer and already under her leadership. The chamber has supported efforts to land some major recent projects and raised more than $2 million to further the county's economic development interest. And as you're about to see, she's just getting started. Well, I think it's the culture that Alamance County is creating and the investment that our public partners are making into quality of life, arts, culture, entertainment. And you can see it in just about all of Alamance County's municipalities, especially in its largest city, Burlington. Just ask Alamance Chamber President Reagan Gurrell. Well, you're seeing it right here on display. You know, whatever you want to, to find yourself checking out, whether it's the instrument company, the used bookstore, the multi, brewery, the, brewery yeah. uh, the wine bar, whatever it might be, Burlington is a great place to check it out, yeah. along with so many other downtowns in our community. But a few blocks over at the Alamance Chamber office, the work goes beyond just promoting and protecting the business interests of its members. These people are also working on bringing business to the county. You know, the loss of textiles was significant for Alamance Absolutely. County. Uh, we have companies that were in the textile industry and reinvented themselves, so they didn't go away, but we had others that went away. Um, and that has opened up opportunities for industrial growth. And there's evidence of that growth at the North Carolina Commerce Park, which includes parts of Graham, Mebon, and unincorporated Alamance County. Three entities that came together in 2015 to develop 1,100 acres, which is now the home to this more than $300 million UPS distribution center now under construction, and a facility that will soon employ more than 450 people. The park is also home to, among others, distribution centers for Walmart and Amazon. Not too far away in Mebane, a new Chick-fil-A distribution center, as well as the expansion of Lotus Bakeries, sit in the North Carolina Industrial Center. Then there's the Sheets Distribution Center in Burlington and Honda Aero, which sits next to the Burlington Alamance Airport and makes engines for Honda jet aircraft. Honda Power Equipment in Swepsonville turns out everything from generators to lawnmowers. Add all of that to LabCorp, whose headquarters sits in downtown Burlington and with more than 3,000 employees as the county's largest employer, you have an economic development portfolio many places would envy. From an economic development standpoint right now, what is your biggest challenge? Workforce development no is game. our number one um, challenge that we talk about every day. You just don't have the people? Is that simply what it is? We have jobs to fill and we need to find the people to do that. The Chamber's already doing that through its Career Accelerator Program, which recruits high school juniors and seniors to take part in paid apprenticeships. So we have participating companies um, along with the the public school system, other private charter schools, and Alamance Community College, we are all a partner. Um, so the chamber serves as that convener for that group to work with companies uh, to secure apprentices from our public school system. At the end of a four-year period, Alamance Community College, whose campus you see here, awards them with associate degrees. They're also guaranteed jobs with the companies they've worked for during their apprenticeships and have no college debt. The chamber also targets middle school students. You're looking at a summer institute in which rising seventh graders are learning the ropes of leadership through the Alamance Youth Leadership Academy. It's a partnership the chamber established with Elon University and local companies. After completing this institute, the students will meet and learn at various times throughout the next two years. How do you see that as helping you from an economic development standpoint on down the road? Workforce development. Okay. It all comes back to workforce development. Uh, so you, these students are exposed to opportunities that we hope will be you know, memorable for them and that they may we'll stay in Alamance County or go away and come back. But economic development is more than adding jobs and growing the local economy. It's also 
enhancing the quality of life for everyone. I think we have it all. And you know, we, we have access, we have quality of life. It's just, Alamance is an amazing place. Well, how successful has this strategy been? Well, just consider four other major projects Alamance County's landed within the last couple of years or so. The Swedish tool manufacturing company, Sandvik Koromon, has opened a new facility in Mebane, 170 jobs. The medical sterilization company, Steritec, is building a plant near the Sheets site in Burlington. That's 50 more jobs. Sunlight Batteries, which makes lithium-ion batteries, is building a new plant that will hire 130 people in the North Carolina Commerce Park. And also in the Commerce Park, up to 100 people work at the Lidl Distribution Center. Now, as many of you know, last year LabCorp did announce it's spinning off its clinical development and commercial services business to form a new company called Fortrea that'll have 19,000 workers. Now, it's unclear how this could affect Alamance County. And when I asked her about this, Garrell told me the chamber's pleased to see LabCorp continuing to grow, and she has no reason to believe at this point to believe there will be a major impact, at least not yet. We will keep you posted.